The Nepalese economy rests on a number of important pillars. At the top of these pillars is agriculture and some industries that depend on agriculture. Nepal has strong potential for development. Thanks to its agricultural biodiversity, it can produce a variety of crops. Nepal is currently going through a phase of rapid development. This allows people to see the development of the country's infrastructure sector. In this video, we will show you the biggest current and future projects of Nepal. But first, share the video and subscribe to the channel. It was agreed to implement the Lower Arun hydroelectric project with a capacity of 679 megawatts. The project will not contain any reservoirs or dams. It will be a development of the 900 megawatts Arun 3 HEP project. It will include four Francis turbines. It generates 2.97 billion units annually. It is planned to be completed in 2025, that is, within four years after the start of construction activities. The Sunkosi Marin Water Tunnel Project is one of the important projects in Nepal. The Sunkosi Marin Water Tunnel Project in Nepal is one of Nepal's national pride projects. Because after the completion of the Sankosi Marine Water Diversion Tunnel Project, it will effectively improve the local agricultural irrigation problem, which amounts to 122,000 hectares due to insufficient rainfall. At the same time, the local area supplies 28.62 watts cubic meters of water for hydropower. The agricultural production of the territory and the promotion of local economic development are of vital importance. The planned flight center is located in Nigod. It is located 175 kilometers southeast of Kathmandu. It is expected to replace congestion and winter smog at Tribhuvan International Airport, the country's only airline gateway. The airport will be built in the next five to six years. But if you decide to build the airport now, the preliminary works can be completed in two years. The construction of the airport required the cutting of more than 2.4 million trees. Only in the first stage. The first phase of the building consists of two runways and a station. The project will cover only 1,900 hectares in the first phase. It is estimated that the first phase of the scheme will cost 120 billion rupees. This is equivalent to 3.45 billion dollars. The 17 project cities are located in two strategic urban clusters. Eastern Province, Area 1 and 2. Western Region, Gandaki and Lumbini Provinces. The selected cities are vital to Nepal's economic development. They are centers of commercial and administrative activities in these areas. The project will also support labor-intensive public works activities in 12 other cities in 7 districts of Nepal. It will support capacity building in 4 cities. About 95% of all credit is allocated to local governments. The value of the project is 150 million US dollars. This is the largest single project signed between the Nepalese government and the World Bank. This project focuses on reducing the time and cost of moving goods through major transport corridors and border crossings, which is necessary to maintain and accelerate economic growth. The project will also support institutions to enhance the work of the National Road Safety Committee and the Ministry of Roads periodic maintenance of roads with high lanes within the strategic road network. The project also includes emergency response components. To reallocate project funds to support emergency response and recovery. The project value is 450 million US dollars. This project is a foreign aid project. Led by the Tibet Center for International Economic Exchange Services. It is the first project won by the 19th Chinese Mining Company in Nepal. The main building content includes classrooms, laboratories and reading rooms in the library, art halls, concert halls, computer rooms, teachers' offices, dormitories for teachers and students, canteens, 
additional rooms for toilets, walls, main gates, playgrounds, etc. in addition to supporting desks and chairs after completing the necessary educational equipment. 16 classrooms and more than 800 teachers and students in the school will meet your educational and living needs. The construction period is expected to be 28 months. The project is expected to be completed at the end of 2022. The China-Nepal Railway is of strategic importance to China and Nepal. The exchange between the two countries will be more convenient. The starting point of the China-Nepal Railway is Shigatsu Station of the AG Railway. It passes through Lazi, Sakya, Dingjia, Dingri County and Geelong to Geelong Port. It passes through the Himalayas and ends in Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal. When this project ends, the railway network in western China and Yanbian in the southwest will be improved. For the outside world, exchanges between China and Nepal will be more convenient. The rapid integration of Tibet with other provinces in China will help the economic development of Tibet and western China. Nepal will build a railway through Nepal Mahakali Mitch. It is located 946 kilometers between Balatpur and Nigard. The railway is 136 kilometers long. The Bharatpur, Shuda, Nagad line will use new standards. As the central part of rail transport, which will cross Nepal from Mahakali district on the western Indian border to Michi on the eastern frontier of India. The project is expected to be implemented as a public-private partnership. The cost is estimated at $3 billion. The project is expected to be completed between 2025 to 2026. In order to further strengthen infrastructure construction and improve the economy, Nepal announced a four-year roadmap and strategic plan. It is expected to create direct employment opportunities for 100,000 people. So far, 27 investment projects have been approved for a total of 8,320 crore. Nepal is expected to generate 1.18 trillion rupees in 2022 to 2026. Nepal has abundant natural resources, which makes it possible for the country to get potential investment opportunities. What do you think is the best project in Nepal? Are there projects that we did not mention? Write it down in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Share the video and subscribe to the channel.